Tucker, thank you. We are tracking a metro this morning, WMATA making fare gates taller, trying to crack down on fare evasion. The agency plans to install these gates in multiple stations across the region. Our Melanie Alnwick is live at the Fort Totten station in Northeast DC this morning with all those details. Hey, Mel. Hey, good morning, guys. Metro says that Fort Totten is the station where they rolled out the first pilot program and they got these new enhanced gates going this morning because it is one of the stations that has the highest amount of fare evasion. And you can look behind me this morning as people are going through. It's not just the newer gates, but also Metro Transit police standing by with a watchful eye that are helping to deter some of those potential fare jumpers. Workers put the finishing touches on some of these new gates overnight. They have L-shaped doors that are high higher than a hockey net and half the height of a basketball hoop. And the design closes the gap somewhat between the gates to help reduce those jump throughs. Today's gates are taller and stronger than the first pilot doors installed a few months ago. Customers this morning tell us they appreciate the efforts, but some say they're not sure yet if it's going to work. If it's effective and it works, great. So let's see. It's definitely working very well. Mm -hmm. And how do you know that? What have you seen? Well, I, have, I actually have seen the, um, the lack of jumping of um, the gates as normal, and I see people actually putting up more of an effort trying to pay their fare. It's not a deterrent. I mean, it's just an obstacle for them to, you know, just push it and they can go right through the gate. I feel disgusted. You know, I'm paying my taxes, I'm paying for a fare, saying everybody else is jumping over, trying to, you know, get through for whatever reason, you know, and that's not fair. And we did see several people determined to avoid paying this morning. One guy slamming up against the doors forcefully to push fast. Another pair walking through the handicap gate side by side. And that's how a lot of people tried to slip by once Metro Transit police arrived. They gave several people warnings to go back and pay their fare. One person was arrested after refusing to comply. So uh, they are very serious about this fare evasion enforcement. Pentagon City gets their new gates tomorrow, system-wide, by the end of the year. We'll see what we what happens with the expansion of that. Thanks so much, Melanie.